Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the how to set up a sensor that is BMP180. To know more this sensor, let's move on to our website controleverything.com and let's have an overall look over this sensor and search this sensor. So we have this sensor BMP180 which is a digital pressure sensor. The range of this sensor is 300 to 1100 hectopascal and these are some of its features which you can see on my screen. You can purchase this sensor from here. Now we want to interface the sensor BMP180 with uh, Arduino Nano and for that I require an Arduino code. So let's have a look over the resource tab and the code is here. You can download the code from the website, very website from here like that and you can also get the code from our github repository the github.com account and the repository name is control everything community now what do we next is to make connections for the hardware products accessories we need for this video tutorial and move forward now what you are looking is our sensor that is pmp 180 digital pressure sensor now we are going to be setting it up and we need an arduino nano which you are able to see on my screen now what we need is an I2C sheet. This is here. This is available on our website controleverything.com. Now the question arises why do we need this I2C sheet? And the answer lies that we need to make connections with other I2C devices and rather makes them easy. So that's why we need this I2C sheet. Now make the connection and gently place the Arduino Nano over the I2C sheet like this and to make a connection and a binding connection among the sensor and the I2C shield, this connecting cable comes into the picture. Now make the connection of the cable and the sensor like this and while making this, make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same fundamental applies on the I2C shield. So our connections will look like this after that. Now next, we need to power up our Arduino Nano and for that we need a mini USB cable just like this which you are able to see on my screen. Now gently insert it over the power jack and light it up. Hence we are done with the connections part. Next we need to interface our sensor and for that we require Arduino code. So let's have a look over that. As we are done with the connections of the hardware part. Now the next thing we want to do is to interface the sensor with the Arduino code. For that we have to visit and log in to the website github.com and here we have to search for control everything community which is the official repository now here we have to search for the sensor bmp180 and here it goes now this is the arduino code we are looking for before moving forward let's have a look over the instructions we have to follow the first thing and the important thing we have to download and install arduino software id on our local machine and this arduino link will help us let's have a look over this arduino link first as you can see and yeah uh, we have to download the Arduino software from here you can download it as a Windows, Mac or Linux operating system whatever you want and later on you can have all the instructions all the dependencies you can follow it for your setup and now get back to the code and here are we as you can see it's a .ino extension file the first thing you get it in the code is that we have included wire.h library uh, which include all the functionalities we want to implement in this particular code. We have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x77. Uh, we have some variables we have defined which we will use later in this code. I will show you later. Uh, first of all in the void setup function we have initialized uh, I2C communication as master and along with serial communication and baud rate equal to 9600. Next we have a for loop and we have selected the data register which starts from 170 that is the decimal equivalent of hexadecimal part. We requested and read two bytes of data. So continuously reading uh, at the for our function it will give 11 types of readings. Now at the end we have some coefficients and a delay. Furthermore we have void loop function. Uh, in this particular code, uh, we have selected measurement control register which is 0xf4 and we have enabled temperature measurement here and the command for that is 0x2e. The writing part is here. 
Next, we have selected the data register for temperature measurement that is 0x F6 and requested and read 2 bytes of data as you can see for the temperature part. Now, as you can see, I have read these two bytes. Uh, these pulls a new data which we can process and later on we can have our own values. Then we have the conversion data or for the temperature which is according to the data sheet for BMP180. Second part is of the pressure part. We have selected again the measurement control register that is 0xF4. Now we have sent a different command that enables pressure measurement and OSS equal to 1 and the writing part is 0x74. Now we have selected data register for pressure measurement that is 0xF6 and requested 3 bytes of data as you can see and the conversion part of this pressure is here which is according to the data sheet. Now, this is the calibration of temperature, now calibration of pressure as you can see going on and this part, this is the second part of calculation where we have calculated the altitude uh, using the pressure formulas and pressure values we have used earlier. So this is how the code will convert and all this goes to the data sheet where we have all the required formulas. At the very end of our code we have the output data serial on the monitor and we have formatted it to the right format where we have altitude in meter, pressure in hectopascal, temperature in celsius and fahrenheit. So this is how the code will look like this is a very generalized and simple code and you can have a look over through its all out summary and I have divided and explained into you and if there is any case you can go through the code again. Now what do we do is to work this code. So for that let's have a look. Now let's give a code or track to follow and for that first of all copy this entire Arduino code and open up the Arduino terminal here. As you can see it's being opening and now paste the entire code and save it by the name BMP180 for the reference and to check it and verify it and compile it. Here we go. Uh, it's done compiling and now upload the code. The code is being uploaded as you can notice. It might take a while. It's done uploading and now we have to check for the output. So for that we have to check for the serial monitor where this will be displayed as you can see altitude, pressure and temperature is being displayed. Now when I apply some pressure on the sensor there will be a change in the temperature altitude values and along with the pressure. Again pressing them there will be a change as you can see and notice. Now this is the exact working of this code along with the sensor using an Arduino Nano. So we have seen the working. Now what do we want to see is the features and the applications why we use this particular sensor. So for that let's have a look forward. As of now we have seen the hardware connections, the explanation of the code and the working of this particular sensor that BMP180. The BMP180 is a digital pressure sensor. It is the functional compatible successor of BMP085, a new generation of high precision digital pressure sensors for consumer applications. The ultra low power, low voltage electronics with a low altitude noise of merely 0.25 meter at fast conversion time, the BMP180 offers superior performance. The BMP180 is based on P0 resistive technology for EMC robustness, high accuracy and linearity as well as long term stabilities. The applications include enhancement of GPS navigation, in and outdoor navigation, leisure and supports, weather forecast, vertical velocity indication and a lot more. So we have set up a digital pressure sensor that is BMP180. So I just thought that I would make it clear in case you are in a kind of thought that you are left without fully understanding this particular thing, the explanation, the connections or any part of this particular video. So post your queries on controleverything.com and you can post them on our community page. Now for blogs and articles which are relevant to this video tutorial you can go to instructivus.com for the communication and to subscribe more video tutorials like this you can subscribe our YouTube channel. 
now i hope you enjoyed this video a lot and have a good one for yourself also thanks a lot for watching